Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sully from the Adam Selvig Music Theory blog, and I got a little surprise for you. I had been talking to some friends about working out some ideas for new topics. So I'm going to go ahead and, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the blog. We've been working on updating it, as you can tell, for those who haven't seen the last video I've done with advertising and all, I've changed the background and the layout a bit. And also I've gotten up to date with the songs of the week and also I'm working on redoing the whole um, video series that I was doing originally in YouTube and then I just sort of stopped. Well, I'm going to start doing that again. And I've got that episode and then I got one I'm work editing now. So let's go ahead and show you what I've been working on. So for those who don't know what I'm talking about, um, I have some buddies of mine online who have started up a gaming forum called Void. So what I decided to do was I'd write some music for it. And then once I got about halfway through writing it, I decided what I should do is start working out all of the songs for it. And what I would do is turn that into a video series on here, which I'm going to call the Composer's Vlog, or something along the lines of that. But anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to play this for you, or at least I'm going to play part of it today. But what I'm going to do, essentially, with this series is I'm going to go on and we're going to turn this piano reduction of the theme into a full-blown orchestral suite. So you get an idea of what it's like when I compose and all that jazz. Because I had some people request they'd see how I actually composed so we'll go ahead and let's give us a shot we'll go ahead and give us a playthrough and then we'll start from there all right so let's go ahead and just give us a little playthrough if it doesn't sound great I'm sorry but I couldn't get the microphone to pick up the speakers on my laptop so I'm having to run it through the speakers on the back of the microphone so anyways I know it's not gonna sound pretty but I'll go ahead I'll put a rendering later later on down the road of what this is and then what it sounds like so we get a comparison and then we'll go ahead and stop it there for now And we'll go ahead and stop it there. So I hope you liked what I got so far. As you see, it goes on for a little while. It, it goes on. Um, there's about five or six themes. And what I'm going to do is the ones that I've got written out already, I've gotten four of them completed as of with the way I want this part of the piece to sound. Which is basically what I did was I went and got a couple of melodic themes in my head, which would be the first three. Which would be the one two you just heard and then the one that comes after this. And then what I did was I started doing what's um, sort of like what you would imagine doing with a Rubik's Cube, which is kind of permutating it and just keep twisting at the things until you get to what you want, and which is what I did with the la the latter two, which would be the one there from 87, and then continue on into the one at 115, and then it goes on for a little while, but it's not quite done. But what I'm going to do is we're going to start here, 
with these with these I'll let you hear the first two. We'll go ahead into the third one um, in a couple of episodes. But we're going to start working with this first one. And my idea, we're going to go ahead and start here. Shift click. Now control C for copy. Minimize. And we'll start up a default or we'll start up a new document using the setup wizard. And the only reason I'm using the setup wizard instead of the default document is because I want to hear what it sounds like with the full ensemble instead of going in and messing with all the MIDI. So for now, I'm wanting to eventually build this up to being a full suite. However, starting out for now, we don't need all of that quite yet. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. Piano, where it was. Strings, two violins. Let's go ahead and make them sections. And in a double, double bass section. We'll keep this modern. In case you don't know, the difference between the cello and the violin cello is literally just the name. If you're wanting to keep it more of a modern piece, you say cello, but if you're wanting something a little older, then it's really just a preference thing overall. But it means the exact same thing. Same thing with contra bass and double bass. It's the same thing. It's just the way it's worded. So let's go ahead and just continue. The title of the piece would be, for now, theme. We'll just call it, actually better yet, we'll just call it void. Sub subtitle, theme song. Oh yeah, if anybody wants to join this, um, then let me know. I'll feel free to, um, I mean, I'll feel free to add you in to at least watch the game. I don't know if any of the guys there are going to start a new game anytime soon, but if they do, and we get enough people to join us from this, then feel free to, to join in. So going, we need a key signature. I know it's in 4-4, four, four, and I'm pretty sure I remember writing this in D minor. Yeah, it's in D minor. I was like, I had to think for a second. Okay, tempo text. I said it feels feeling uneasy. So tempo, I had it as 92, which it probably should be a little bit slower, but it does. I don't. I don't think anybody really cares. It's not a huge deal. So here we have it. It's okay. Well, it's a little out of order. I was kind of wanting the piano to be at the bottom, but we'll make this work. So I'll go in and paste everything back in. Come in here and fix the tech. Let me fix that right quick. There we go. So here we have it. Here's, and then what I did was we've got. Literally, what I wrote in the other file is pasted out in here. Nice and well organized. I think it ended up adding some measures too, but anyways. So here's what we're going to do. For now, at least in this first part, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do house cleaning. So we'll go ahead, do a little bit of house cleaning, get rid of start by getting rid of that eight the and the bracket that goes with it. Should we get rid of it down here? Okay, yeah. The reason I had it written out like that was because where the bottom of the piano line is down here, it was going into, well, like how it is up here, they were crossing really badly and it was kind of hard to read, so I went on and just fixed that. So let me go ahead and, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm holding shift and hitting up and it kicks it up an octave. So let me do this. Now we got that done, let's go down here and get rid of the loco because it's literally the same thing again. Looks good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Now before you ask, yes, I know this is kind of short. This piece is supposed, I mean, it's supposed to be an intro. It's not, we're not making Final Fantasy, or we're not making Kingdom Hearts here. It's not supposed to take 20 minutes to go through an intro. We're just trying to sit here and make a simple little theme song. So let's go ahead and... We'll start off with, like I said a second ago, we need to, apparently this, the bracket here with all the strings in it is getting a little too close down here on the low end, down here where it's got all the accents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of space by going up here. So click on the staff tool. Let's drag this down. Oops, I didn't mean to drag that. I need to literally drag that. There we go. 
What was it at an inch? Probably. Yeah, that's about an inch. So we'll take it down to one point. Far enough where I can keep two on the same thing. Okay. Now let's we'll see. How many measures we got down here? Four? Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding a few more. Let's cram this in just a little bit. We don't need to make this too bad because it's try to make it legible. But I'm trying to save a little bit of room in the end down there so we can keep save us a page instead of having like half a page. Okay, that's about as tight as I'm going to get it for now. And like I said, in, soon, near, in the near future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it out a little bit more. But right now, I'm just trying to get it a little more condensed, a little nicer looking. Because as you saw, it was just a piano score, so I could kind of stretch it out a little more. Alright, so we'll go ahead and stop there for, the, for now. And then hopefully in the near future, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start editing it up. So that what I can do is start arranging that out into not only with piano but with string quintet and then from there we'll possibly even go into a full brass and then if I don't know if I'm going to go full symph symphonic orchestra on the intro or not later on when we get to the battle themes and I will already know like the one I showed you a minute ago we will be going full steam into that one but for now I'm just this I think all I need really is a string quartet and then special effects which I'll go and we'll go ahead and discuss all that later on so anyways, I hope you liked this little quick tutorial for the theme song to Void. And also, the way this is going to work is I want everybody out there to go ahead and leave a comment down there saying what you think about the series so far. And if you liked it, then don't forget to like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel or the blog's channel, then feel free to subscribe. Please do. The blog needs you. Even if you don't use YouTube, we need, we need subscribers pretty bad. So we'll go ahead and we'll continue with this series and then what I'm hoping to do is go from just not only just this but expand it out to um, where we'll actually show you the processes of recording so that it, for you future composers you have an idea of what you're looking at for the near future. So before we go let me fix that, get rid of the skin of my nerves. And alright well I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'll see you later.